Hey, happy Sunday, my friends. How are you? I've just been attacked by a bunch of flies, but um, I just sprayed them all, so they're all dying now, which is cool. So I'm doing some stencil work on the um, Space Dharma T34. So as you can see there, I put on one little white part. So I've got this other little stencil there. See how it's got red on it? So after that white part dries, I'll come and I'll try and put the stencil over the top and we'll put some red on it, make the star red, like these ones. They're a little bit wonky, but it was my first try. But it doesn't look too bad because it's straight. So I suppose it looks like a bit of realism, I suppose, like they, they messed it up, <laughs> not me. I'm also working on this one. Now this is by Mini Art. It's the one that they've released just recently. So this one here, it's got the um, the really nice Polish tanks, which I'll probably do. But yeah, this is an amazing tank. The amount of detail on it. I've been working on this part so for about a week now. Um, so you get to yeah this page here these two pages here in the middle and things start to really slow down because it's all photo etch and all the photo etch details going on and you got a lot to do and you see these ones here these little clips they're not easy to put on you can probably barely see it but I'll put these in, and they look really good in person. Now, of course, I've replaced all the plastic handles with um, brass ones because they just suck. You know what I mean? Like, the, like how many times it's broken and. I uh, won't be doing that anymore, so they will be brass. It took a little bit extra time, but at least they won't break all over the place. Yeah, which is good. Um, but yeah, it's just endless amounts of detail. Like, just for an out-of-the-box kit, it's pretty amazing. So you've got those little connectors underneath as well, so you've got to do those. It's the exact same as the front. The one on this side was a little bit bent out of the um, packet, which was annoying. But I got them on, they fit well. You don't need to glue them, so they're fully workable. You can open and close them, just like the front ones. The amount of, there's a, you've got the photo etch parts there to join the fingers to the body. And underneath, you can see the bulk detail, which is really nice. So, Mini Art have gone fully all out with this. And it does actually look a little bit better than the, um, than the border one. So I'm just trying to work out, this looks a bit plain here, so I'm just going to maybe add something here or something. But um, yeah, this one's got some track that goes there, spare track. But uh, yeah, the mini art one is much better. And you can see that all they really did was extend the, um, the they made this bigger. But not much has changed. It's basically the same, all the tooling was the same, except they made the uh, turret hole a little bigger to fit the new turret. But it's pretty much exactly the same. So they didn't change much from 43 to 44. All they did was change the turret and they made this a bigger turret ring. And that made things a lot easier. Like Germany was expecting them to build another tank, but they didn't. They upgraded the body and put a new turret on, which well, it reduced the amount of um, problems they had at the factories so they were just able to pump out so many of these where Germany was just mucking around with different designs and all kinds of different tanks
Pretty cool, isn't it? All right, well, I'll get back to it, and um, I'll see you again soon. Enjoy your Sunday, my friends. Hopefully, you do some modeling.